2022, a single Pokemon card sold for over $5 million. And there were multiple dozens of individual cards fetching more than a million dollars in auctions. It kind of signals a bit of a gold rush in the whole card scene. So I've loaded some cards into the machine and now I'm gonna to come to the interface and I'm going to initiate a sort and the machine is then going to pull one card at a time from that stack position it over a camera, the card will be recognized and then sent to the appropriate bin through the conveyor. In 2015, I decided to take some time and sort through my personal card collection, which ended up taking three straight back-to-back eight-hour days. My roommate at the time suggested that I build a machine, kind of as a joke, to do that. I have a background in mechanical engineering, so it was a project that I actually felt competent to take on, and so I started moonlighting as a card sorting machine developer. I was working in oil and gas as an equipment design engineer. The oil and gas market was really in a bit of a downturn, and so the opportunity to pursue this full time came up in September of 2016. I called 200 different stores all across Canada and the United States, and more than 90% of the store owners I spoke with said that they would definitely order a machine if I had one. It started off with a prototype. I took that to a local card shop here in Calgary at Phoenix Comics. Part of the deal was that we got to use the machine, but we were testing it for him. We buy collections all the time. We have a backlog of hundreds of thousands, if not millions. Having that quantity of cards, we need help sorting it, and that's what the machine does for us. It has the ability to go through cards and pull out the valuable ones. We just throw in a big chunk, and uh, what we think is all kind of cheaper stuff, it'll spit out what the good stuff is, and then the rest we can kind of just get rid of, and then the good stuff we sort into our inventory. Over the course of about two years, they sorted through one million cards and basically proved the concept to a T. They let me do all my debugging, both physically and software-wise, and the success of that prototype allowed me to apply for a grant uh, through the province to build eight more machines. In February, we got our 100th machine out the door. Those machines have gone across six provinces, I believe 45 states at this point. We sent one machine to Germany on a prototype basis, and uh, the feedback has been phenomenal. We've grown from myself in my basement about two years ago to, uh, as of next week, 17 full-time staff and uh, <laughs> a, whole, a whole production operation. Graham is awesome. Watching him succeed and seeing his company succeed is super satisfying. And he's put in so much time and so much effort. It's exploded because he is really good at what he does. Considering that this whole thing kind of started as just a, an offhand comment, a joke really, between two roommates in a basement seven or eight years ago, it's fascinating and bewildering and overwhelming at times, but happy to be here and happy to be doing something different.